All right, you ready to just chat? Are you ready for this? I'm I'm ready. Yeah, sure. Let's chat. What do you think? What do you think is about to happen? I have no idea. <laughs> I I was I was half uh, expecting like an intervention, like five other people on this call, uh, and and like I've been messing up somehow. I, I'm I mean I'm I know there's many ways that I'm messing up, and you yeah. were just gonna intervene on one of them. Man, you must really be messing up on some things if you think there's a chance there was going to be an intervention. <laughs> I mean, it's it's basically the story of my life. Uh, there's it's just it's I wake up and I've already messed up something. I'm sure. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, well, he, here let's do this. Why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you do? Uh, I'm Sanjay Park. I'm a technology entrepreneur. That's probably the most succinct way of saying it. Is that where you've landed, technology entrepreneur? Yeah. Uh, you know, my LinkedIn, uh, somebody actually commented about it the other day. It says startup cheerleader. I think that's true too. Mm, mm. Um, I mean that I'm, I guess I'm a champion of founders, entrepreneurs, people trying to do things, connector. I don't know, just a friendly yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I would agree with all those things. Uh, before we jump in, is there anything you want to promote? Uh, no, I mean, there, I mean, there are plenty of things. I, okay. The one thing I would say, uh, listen to tech talk y'all. That's the podcast that I do with Adam, uh, Adam Walker. Uh, it's a weekly podcast. We are now seven years into that podcast. Um, we just passed our seven year anniversary. Um, and it's a lot of fun to do. So we'll be recording later on this week. Excellent. Yep. It is a great show. I will do my very best to link that in the show notes How about that. Cool. Awesome. All right, let's get started. The first thing I want to know is, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> do I believe in ghosts? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, it's not something I think about that often. <laughs> I kind of think if you did, you you might think about it more often. Yeah, so I, like, I, I think the answer is no. So the answer is no. You don't, you yeah. don't believe in it. Okay, good. That's I, the correct yeah. answer, by the way. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that's the only thing I'm going to ask you that uh, actually has a correct answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah you know, some people do believe in ghosts and I, it, I just, I, I really am trying to understand that because it, it seems crazy to me, but Hey, you know, who knows? Yeah. I mean, you know, look, we don't know everything in the world, right? Like we, we feel like we're so advanced and we know all the things and whatnot, but like I was, I was telling somebody just the other day, I read a story, this is probably six, eight months ago now, that we have just discovered a new organ that sits behind the nose. Like it's 2024, 2023 when this happened, I think, and we're still discovering organs in the body. So clearly we're not that smart. Like we haven't figured out all the stuff. That's insane. That's insane. I've not heard that yet. Yeah. I, I don't know what said organ does, but it's, I mean, it's no. there. I'm sure it does something. Well, what do you think? Like, all right. So when somebody says, have you ever met anyone that said they had seen a ghost? Um, I can't think of who that is, but I, I think, yeah, I think yeah. people. So what do you, what do you think when someone says that? Given uh, that you maybe don't believe that such a thing exists. Uh, um, what do I think when they say they've seen a ghost? I, I think <laughs> they've seen something that they can't explain and they are attributing to a ghost. Okay. Right. It's like a, it's like a UFO. There is an explanation. We're just not good at figuring out what that explanation is. I mean, you're more likely to believe in a UFO uh, than you are ghosts, right? Because eventually we're going to see something up there, right? Yeah, so I wouldn't call it a UFO. A UFO right. is unidentified flying object, right? Um, so we don't know what it is. So we're like, I don't know. Uh, if you're specifically asking about aliens and other life, I 100% believe that we are not the only uh, sentient, uh, knowledgeable life in the universe. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> that uh, with, right. I don't know how many trillions upon trillions of stars there are and how many trillions upon trillions of planets there are that we just haven't found yet because we're just now getting to the point to be able to see them that there can't be some kind of life out there other than on earth i mean that's it's pretty arrogant to think that we are that special right that we're the only life in the universe right i'm on board with that okay another thing i'm curious to know from you how many owls would you need to see in a day to become concerned 
<laughs> How many owls? Uh, are we talking Harry Potter owls or are we talking just regular owls? I mean, what's the difference? I mean, the Harry Potter ones are, are more kind of uh, organized and thoughtful and, and doing jobs. Um, whereas the, uh, the run of the mill owl is just, you know, catching rodents. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, go with run of the mill. Like you, run of the mill. You yeah, wake I, up, I, you I, see one out your, out your window, you're driving to work, you see another one on a pole. Like at what point is it enough? Enough's enough. So you're saying they're individual. They're not like in a grouping. I don't right. know what a grouping of owls is called. Is it a yeah. school? Growls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's a word for it. It's like a, a college. I think it might be a college of owls. Because I think a grouping of dragons is a thunder. Okay, but dragons aren't real, so whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> easy, easy, pal. <laughs> uh, Actually, like, you know, there there I... is some discussion about whether or not they're real. Because if they were around, they would be. They, the, what I've heard is they'd be bird like, and I guess the bird birds don't. The, the fossils don't last the way that others dinosaurs do and stuff. So it's theoretically possible. Okay. How does somebody know that the, the fossils of a dragon don't it, uh, come on, that's just making up stuff. That's, that's justifying <laughs> the reason why we don't have dragon fossils. No, there's dragon drawings from like, I don't know, 200 BC and stuff. So anyways, we're getting off topic. <laughs> I need to know your answer to this question about the owls. About the owls. Yeah, yeah. Um, like how many would you need to see in a day to be like some? I mean, like, like in a grouping, probably like. No, no, not three, in a grouping. Uh, just, just separately. Yeah, separately. Um, uh, how big of an area? Like just Dur during the course of your day. I mean, you know, not not just all in your backyard. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, like five, seven, somewhere in there, because then you know, like, man, there's a lot of rodents around here because they are all flocking around, and that's concerning. <laughs> so you go straight to rodents. I mean, but that's what they eat. So that's, I mean, when we have an owl that is is sometimes around our houses here, we hear them in the morning uh, or or whenever they hoot. Uh, and it's it's comforting because it's like, okay, you're, you're out there doing your job. Take care of those rodents because I don't want them in my house. Inside of you is better than inside my house. All right. So that's a very practical way to approach the problem. I've not heard anybody. Uh, oftentimes the answer I hear is three. Once I get to three, like one, hey, that's really unique. That's cool. Two, it's like, wow, what a coincidence. Three, that's that's a tremendous amount of owls if you think about it, because you probably <laughs> don't see any in the course of a week, right? That, that, yeah, generally that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, well my but... number's a little bit higher because that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm concerned about the rights of rodents. You look, yeah. most people are like looking up, like what's going on. You're looking down, like are there are there rodents everywhere? Yeah, they, uh, yeah, that's because the owls are not going to do anything to me. Uh, the thing that they eat is going to do something to me, which mm -hmm. has grossed me out. And, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, another thing I was wondering, um, what what's your take on coleslaw? My take on coleslaw, like, what, like it good, bad, indifferent? Is, is that the... <laughs> open to interpretation? You can answer how you want. Uh, it's a food and not one that I generally partake in. You, you, you've never had a, a coleslaw you like? Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I, I, yeah, I don't think. Do you, do you think like, of it like as a old... southern dish? The summit. I, th I think so. I, yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen it in the North. Well, let me tell you where, where you're wrong about that, sir. Really? So here, here's some facts about uh, coleslaw, which okay. I find to be repulsive, by the way. You couldn't, <laughs> I don't know what you'd have to pay me to have me eat some coleslaw, but it would be a lot. Would, uh, it, would it have to be like five owls threatening you to <laughs> eat the coleslaw? Yeah, right. I'd feed it to the rodents and then I'd be safe <laughs> from them. Uh, all right. So listen to this. Check this out. Uh, coleslaw can be traced back as far as the ancient Romans who served a dish of cabbage, vinegar, eggs, and spices. The Dutch who founded New York. Is that right? The Dutch who founded New York. Yep, yep. They grew cabbage around the Hudson River that they used in a shredded cabbage salad they called kusla, which became coleslaw here. What do you think okay. about that? Uh, I, I think maybe the Romans were trying to keep the dragons away. And so that's why they made <laughs> coleslaw in the first place. You never know. Listen, listen, you never know. Uh, <laughs> all right. I got another question for you. 
Okay. Uh, the, uh, these questions, I feel like they're totally unconnected from one another. You do? Maybe you'll see the pattern soon. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one, maybe this one, um, you'll see the pattern. So are you somebody that believes that if you talk to plants, it will help them grow? Well, I think research shows that it does. Uh, research shows that playing uh, music, uh, like classical music, also helps them versus playing heavy metal. Um, so yeah, I, I, but there's scientific studies around this. It, it definitely ridiculous. does help. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why, That's why the do most you ridiculous, ridiculous thing you've said so far on this podcast. <laughs> so you're, you're trying to tell me plants prefer like soul music to like rock and roll or something like what do you, what are you I, well, to tell me? I, I don't know about rock and roll i'm talking to heavy metal I like you playing metallica or you know yeah something like that i think the like, people who are playing that. music and talking to plants generally take care of their plants better what do you think about that that might be but there, there's also a hypothesis that by talking to your plants you're expelling carbon dioxide right on them so they're absorbing well, that's that different and, right i mean that's what I'm asking is if you, if I walk in every day and I look at my plant and I say, I hate you plant, or I say, you're such a beautiful little plant that it's going <laughs> to grow better because I was nurturing to it. Come on, man. Well, uh, plants apparently talk to one another and have some kind of uh, biological memory. So there was a study where somebody who was torturing plants, I don't know what that means, but torturing plants uh, then went into a room with other plants and they actually recorded a response reaction, uh, <laughs> such a close to fear uh, with those plants. That's so, like, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. The, the stink of plant death was on that person. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what happens when a farmer goes in. Like uh, maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. Oh, geez. Wow. That's crazy. Um, okay. T tell me this. Are, are you an Oxford comma guy or not? Uh, absolutely. Why would you, that yes. like the Thank comma you. go, uh, it's yeah, that's, just it's, it's insane not to, not to, use I know comma. I Grammarly does the, it was just doing it to me today. Like, Oh, you don't need the comma there. I'm like, no, sir. I do no. need the comma there. Cause yeah. that's the right place to put it. I, I will like move to get people out of my life. If I realize they're not Oxford <laughs> comma people. <laughs> well, I'm glad we can continue hanging out. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was a good answer. Uh, yeah. So far, everybody's answered that correctly, but man, that's a, oh yeah, that's a second one that has a correct answer. I, I should have said. And, and, and by the way, the, the song Oxford comma by, uh, oh gosh, what's the name of that band? It's, it's a great song. Wow. I didn't know there was a song. Yeah. It's, um, oh, gosh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Oxford comma song. Uh, oh, Vampire Weekend, of course. So Vampire you, Weekend. You should take a listen to that. Vampire it, comma weekend? No, <laughs> there, there's no comma there. There's no okay. Oxford comma. Okay. Um, okay. I will check uh listeners check out Vampire Weekend. Okay. Um, hey, have you ever have you ever like played the game or heard would you rather questions uh i have yeah okay i don't know I if just i've want ever played it yeah yeah first of all i just wanted to like when was the first time you were you 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 had heard the concept of a would you rather question i probably high school yeah it's it, it goes back right yeah so i i, I have one that i'm going to ask you but i um i went online and I uh -huh. asked to, 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 to just see, um, what a good one might be. And one of the ones that came up early was, would you rather be a teacher or a clown? Like how, what a horrible question. <laughs> what is that? Which, which way do you want to torment children? Uh... <laughs> but like, what? I mean, seriously, like, what? that's not a question. Teachers and <laughs> A great job to, to be a teacher. What, what is that? So I was very disappointed are, in the internet. Are, are uh, you disparaging clowns? Are you saying those are not good jobs? Not compared to teachers, bro. Let's get real. <laughs> let's get, let's get you, super you know, real, I, man. <laughs> I, I heard a story that apparently somebody, is it maybe Ringling Brothers? They're getting rid of the face paint uh, to make the clowns less scary. And I'm like, well, th then that's not a clown. Oh, man, that's tricky. Not painted up face then that's just a, a guy walking around yeah that's that i don't like that i don't i don't really like that <laughs> is, is that more scary than a painted up clown well yeah right i mean kind of kind of <laughs> um all right well here's my would you rather question. okay okay 
All right. Would you rather have an obsessively insane person love you or hate you? Obsessively insane person love or hate. Uh, I, I think the love because it's less dangerous in theory than the hate. Is it? Is I don't love, know. Is love, that's pretty deep. Love is less dangerous than hate. I mean, it depends it on what level they act on on yeah. those emotions, yep. right? You remember Fatal Attraction? Uh, that's true. That, that that's a good point. For or all our ancient listeners, or or Brooke Shields' character on Friends uh, with yeah, Jerry right, there, right. right. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one's better there. Which one's safer? I, I I'm going for right. which one's safer right. to me. I feel like the love is safer because the hate, like they, they, I mean, they're already bad how about right? this like, does this does this change it if they're like a tiny person or if they're like a six foot six you know strong burly person uh, i i don't think it matters because uh the the person that's uh short <laughs> or the person that's bigger than me like uh, they can still do the same kind of damage can they i don't know yeah like a gun doesn't care uh, what size person is behind them pulling the trigger. <laughs> same thing with a car, same thing with, you know, lighter fluid in a match. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. But your answer, your gut answer was, uh, was love. I, I mean, I feel like it's safer for the short term. Maybe in the long run, both are dangerous. Mm, yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, if you were an action figure, what accessories might come with you? Um, <laughs> the, the little, uh, I, I fall on that and can't get up uh, necklace. I don't know. Um, uh, we were just talking about that on tech talk y'all with uh, the, that moon lander that's fallen over and, and can't get up. Man, you were really promoting tech talk y'all on this. I, I, I mean, I, you know, I think about it a lot because we talk about a lot of stories and you're, you're asking yeah. me stuff about stories uh, that, that relate to stories. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what other, uh, I mean, I feel like I, I would always like don't have superpowers. So you'd want to have the Batman utility belt. Cause man, there's just a lot of good stuff jammed in there. And then, you know, you could always switch it out for actual useful stuff. It's like an everyday carry mm. for superheroes. That's so what I'm Batman writing. I'm just writing down. Belt. I'm writing down fanny pack. Got it. Okay. <laughs> fanny pack. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, the rock wore the fanny pack on, uh, Oh, what was that movie with him? And, and, um, uh, Kevin Hart. Oh, undercover. No, not undercover. He was like a CIA agent. Anyways, The Rock wore a fanny pack the entire uh, right, right. film. So if you're going to disparage fanny packs, you're going to have to deal with The Rock. I feel like if you're, if you look like The Rock, you can wear whatever you <laughs> damn well please. <laughs> what, what are you saying about how I look? <laughs> I'm not, I'm sure, listen, I'm sure you're wearing a fanny pack right now. So it's totally cool. I, I totally actually great. have never owned a fanny pack. Really. Um, it's actually cooler, I think, now. Like my my uh, nineteen year old, like when he went, I don't know, to Europe or whatever, he wore yeah. it, but they wear it differently, like around your chest or somewhere. Yeah, thing. yeah, they, they they do the chest thing, so it's not yeah. it's like a chest pack, not a fanny pack. Yeah, it's not. It's actually not a bad idea when you're like in a populated area, right? Right, just right yeah. there in your chest. You know, it's harder to harder yeah. to have that ro robber get you. Yeah. Um, what what what. While we're on this, what superpower would you want? I'm sure you've thought about that before. If you could have any superpower, what would you want? And please, uh, please don't say flying. Well, why is, not flying? What's oh, it's such flying? a terrible answer. Why? Why? Is no, go ahead. If that's what you want to say, then we'll talk about it. I mean, I mean, teleportations. Uh, right? Is teleportation better to you than flying? Oh my gosh, light years. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. You don't want to waste the time if you've got the power, so you might as well just get there. <laughs> Um, yeah. What, what would I want? Uh, superpower. I don't, I don't know which one I would want. Like I'm thinking all the Superman cause mm -hmm. he, he's like my, my pinnacle superhero, um, super strength. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't really come in handy day to day. That, so that, that's the thing, right? You, you pick one that like, you pick one that like can protect you, but like, what are we in fights all the time? It's not, it's, we're never going to use it. You know? Like, like this is not Mad Max or anything. So yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. Like, like I can't think of one that would come in handy on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, like teleportation would probably be the best one because then you can avoid traffic. 
you could just get to things like, hey, you can just pop over to, you know, Italy for pizza and, and be back home right after dinner. All right, let me, here, here's one that I, um, this will give you an insight into my, uh, the discussions I have with my children. Uh -huh. um, ju just last night, I was talking to my 17 year old and I posed this question to him. Uh, it, would you rather have the ability to control your own throw up or other people's throw up? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh and and what was the decision well i mean i think it's an obvious answer but i want to hear your answer uh i mean i i'd want to control my own Ugh, like... terrible answer <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you you want to control you, everybody you, else's all right yeah w wouldn't that listen all right imagine someone's about to rob you you just make them start throwing up. <laughs> like you can control people to throw up. You can. Okay. Clearly you know, I what, wasn't thinking yeah. about, uh, I, I, when you said control, I thought you were saying to stop them, not to start them from throwing up. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking it. about the, the uh, uses in other yeah. venues because I'm thinking as a parent and, and you're a parent right. as well. Like I've been thrown up on, um, oh, it's, yeah, it's like, terrible. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, but, but even so, even so I'd rather control my kids throw up in my, my own, but, but imagine like, you know, there's a certain politician that if every time he spoke, I could make him <laughs> throw up, he, he wouldn't get elected. <laughs> okay. I, I, I see the value in that. Uh, You're following now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, and, and truth be told, I mean, how often do I actually throw up? I right. Mean, that's the other, that's it's, the it's other been side. years. It's yeah. been years now since I've been sick enough. To oh man. You knock on wood. You, you don't yeah. really believe in knocking on wood. I hope. Uh, no. I okay, mean, pe good. people do it, but you know, I guess if you believe in ghosts, you believe in the spirits that uh, the knocking on wood keeps away because when oh, you is say that, that what it is? You keep away. That's spirits. what it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. you keep away the bad spirits when you said the thing because the spirits are around. So the knocking on wood keeps the spirits away. But wait a minute. So if I if I say, uh, well, everyone's healthy right now. Oh, I got to knock on wood. There's a there the, the somebody believes there's a spirit around going. What? No way. I'm going to spoil that. Exactly. Oh, crazy. That's, <laughs> that's crazy talk. <laughs> I'm not, you know, what's funny is, is the people that do the knock on wood and then knock on their head. And it's like, you realize yeah, right. uh, what you're saying there is your head is made of wood. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think they're doing that on purpose. Um, but uh, the spirits probably get real mad about that when they knock on their head. <laughs> like, well, we're we're going to do it just because you did that. All right. We got, we got a couple more questions we got to get to here. Um, okay. I, I, this, Truth be told, this is the question I wanted to ask you the most. Okay. So how would you convince a robot that you are not a robot? <laughs> I feel like you're going to nail this one because you've had, some, let's be honest, you've had some, some, some tough answers so far, but I feel like this one you've got. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I would probably tell the robot, prove that I'm not a robot or prove that I am a robot. Prove that you are. You, you'd flip it back on the robot. Well, yeah. You, why don't you prove to me that I am hmm. or that I'm not? I think like, the robot's best way of doing that is saying, you know, how many bikes can you see in this picture? <laughs> that seems to be their big criteria. Of, of I, I, I think so. And, and, it, and if those captures are any indication, I am definitely a bot. Yeah. Uh, because I can't ridiculous. tell you how many times I, I failed one just the other day. Uh, yeah. Cause like, Wait, is the little handlebar piece that's in that? I mean, it's not the whole block, but it's part of the block. Does that count? Does I seriously count? don't know the answer to that. I, I, my gut is if there's any little teeny part of that bike that shows up in a box, you got to click on that box, right? But what if it's like the, you know, like the tassels on the handlebars, like when right. you were growing up, you know, the, those kids bikes had, like, does that count? Is that part of the bike or is it the tassel that's attached to the bike? Yep. I prefer yeah. to say tassel, by the way. Tassel? That's tassel. what I said. No, task hole. <laughs> task hole. That's another okay. joke I have with my with, with my kids. Not my little <laughs> kids, but my older kids. Task hole. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um, all right. I, that was that was fine. Let me ask you this. And I and I'm I should know the answer to this, but how casual are you with your use of emojis in text? Uh I mean I I use them. I'm not fully emoji fluent. Uh I don't know mm. everyone out there and I don't know the right Are you time emoji to... fluid? <laughs> <laughs> I I I think I use a subset of probably like eight or ten mostly faces and maybe a thumbs up here or there. Uh and that's about the limit of my emoji usage. I don't I don't I I 
type things. I don't. Yeah, I'm scrolling emojis. through our our text, um, and I don't see mm -hmm. a lot of emojis really from either of us. I will throw some in. Oh yeah, you've got a couple in there. Actually, you've got one text to me where you used two emojis. Oh wow! So, that, yeah, was, that but, was a big day. That was a big day. That was a big day for both of us. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. I think I'm not seeing any emojis from you. By the way, I, I'm scrolling myself, and I, I'm there's not... some up there. Keep going. You'll find okay. them. But okay. but you're also you know you're you're um, you're Android, which I hope to be rejoining uh, that crew soon. Oh really? But, uh, yeah, when 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 the iPhone starts doing the R, what is it RCS, um, right? Uh, basically, once I can receive like videos from my kids and it comes in high quality, I'm gonna switch back. Huh? Yeah, Interesting. yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to switch in the first place. I just switched like a few years ago because I had kids that had iPhones, and then you know they wanted to FaceTime me, or mainly when they sent me a picture or a video, it was all you know blocky. Yeah. 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 I, I think the fix there, there's an easy fix for this is you should have gotten them all Android phones. Yeah. Yeah. That is what I should have done. Um, too late for that though. All right, here we go. Last okay. question. Uh-huh. What is your deepest, darkest secret? <laughs> My deepest, darkest secret. Uh, <laughs> do I, do I have one? Uh, I'm a pretty open book. Are you? I think so. There must be something, some something you just haven't told anyone, haven't told your wife that you want to share with me today. <laughs> that I want to share with on countless uh, random people that are just listening. Yeah, dozens of people might hear it. <laughs> dozens of people. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know that I have any deep dark secrets. I mean, growing up in Kentucky was pretty like you know standard. Mm. No, nothing okay. horrific happened there. Okay. I mean, you know, ra random things, dumb things have happened as a kid. One, one time I was, I remember driving way too fast when it was raining and I took a curve and I ended up doing a 360 followed by a 180. So a 540 ended up pointed the wrong way on the road on the other side in the, in the, in the uh, shoulder. Fortunately, it was nighttime. Fortunately, there were no other cars around. Unfortunately, I hit nothing, but man, wow. that's that really, that really kind of like, oh, you should be careful. So yeah, lucky. Um, you, yeah, yeah. I hope, uh, I hope you knocked on wood as soon as that was over. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, the car didn't knock on any wood. So uh, yeah, I, I was good. Sanjay, uh, thank you for joining me today and answering my absurd questions. Um, I appreciate your honesty and openness. Uh, and and uh, we learned a lot about each other today, didn't we? I think so. I, uh, I'm going to have to look for emojis from you in the future now. Yeah, I'm going to send one as soon as as soon as we hang up. So um, listen, <laughs> go out there, keep doing what you're doing. And um, I appreciate uh, appreciate your time today. And, and for being tr for trusting me enough to just jump into this, not having any idea what we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I still don't know any idea what we just did, but you know, right. it's fine. You'll, you'll learn soon enough. All right. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.